So some people are unwilling to spunk for 500 quid on a GoPro or a DJI. So if you're one of them people, this video might just be for you. We're taking a look at the Ecaso Brave 8 Lite. So this camera is 4K60. It has super smooth stabilization. It is waterproof and it has dual screens. Now there is a little bit of a caveat with the super smooth stabilization. So in camera, it has standard and the super smooth is only through the app so you basically transfer all your footage onto your phone and you can do a batch sort of stabilization session where it does it all at once and then you obviously edit on your phone or you export it to your computer so moving forward with this video we're not going to bore you with specifications all the way through the video we've uh, we're going to let the footage do the talking yep so what we've done is we've done a little rig up of the ucaso and then a gopro so we'll be able to film at the same time so you'll be able to see some comparisons yeah, we'll also do comparisons for audio as well, and both will be in super smooth stabilisation. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So, it is raining today. It's absolutely the worst day to do a video. So, we're just hiding under the bridge, keeping out of the uh, keeping out of the rain. So, we are planning on going on a bike ride. What's the audio like on this? In the minute, we're not in direct sunlight. We're sort of under the shadow of the bridge. So again, it might be a, a good comparison for low light performance. So just to, you're not going to see this often, but just to, to, you know, try out the stabilization, what it's like when, you know, you when you run with a camera, what I'm going to do <laughs> is give it to Zoe. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was too much to ask that he would run. So just, just a little quick five I'll second jog. Yeah, here we go. They're running me. <laughs> what do you think? Does the GoPro have the edge? Does the Acaso have the edge? Or the sort of equal in terms of stabilization? Well, what we're gonna do now is go for a bit of a bike ride. So, you know, show you what it's like moving at speed with a bit of wind blowing into the microphones. All right, here we go. So just for just to be transparent, the GoPro has a, a foam wind muff on it, but the Casso doesn't. Which is another point to consider. If you're using them outdoors, then I'm not sure if you can get wind muffs available for the Acaso. So uh, that might be a, a deciding factor for you. But yeah, what's the what's the wind like on the Acaso? Just turning around, facing the wind now. So, what did you guys think to the footage? You know compared to a GoPro 10. Was it on par? Was it a lot worse? Was it yeah, even better? Um, so whilst we're comparing it with a GoPro 10, let's compare what you get with a GoPro and what you get with an Acaso. So with a GoPro, you get... Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you literally get the camera. With the Acaso, you are, there's loads of stuff. Two batteries, a dual battery charger, a wrist strap so you can control the camera up to 10 meters away. That is waterproof as well, you know, as well as the camera every mount and accessory you could possibly you could you could probably mount it to your penis if you wanted to there's that much in the box <laughs> <laughs> so yeah just taking a bit of a closer look at the camera so there is three buttons on this camera there is the power button the record button and the mode button now as this is a dual camera dual screen camera rather Unlike the GoPro, you can't have both screens on at once on this. So there's a mode button on the side. You have to press and hold that for three seconds before the screen flicks to the front or the rear. But there's a caveat with that. If you're recording a file, you know, a bit of footage, you can't flip the screen mid recording. I wish a Casa would do a firmware update where both screens were on all the time. I would sacrifice battery life. Um, or at least give you the option if you want to turn the front screen off or you want the rear screen off or have both on i think it, sh it should be an option at the very least so yeah it's um far from perfect but you know what come you know what camera is perfect you can put an external microphone on this as well so it's micro usb and you can plug a you know standard micro usb microphone into this or a wireless mic uh, which is pretty good with the GoPro, you need to buy the media mod for that or the adapter, which is, uh, you know, gets quite expensive. 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 So, yeah, we'll just leave you with some final. What are you doing there, fiddling with your gloves? <laughs> it's raining heavy. <laughs> yeah, so it's starting to get heavier rain now. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll leave you with some more 
you know comparison footage between the GoPro and the um, with the Acaso and you know please let us know what you think in the comments is it worth it or is it worth spending a little bit more for a GoPro I don't know it's, it it entirely depend on your you know view of what the footage is like so uh, yeah let's roll it <laughs> 